Thank you, Mr. President. I speak on behalf of IPAN, a network of more than 600 civil society organizations in over 100 countries working for a toxic free future. We appreciate the work done by SIWG on the update of the technical guidelines addressing the pop space. In particular, additional information about technologies able to destroy pop space. However, we regret that full information about destruction, efficiency of some technologies is often missing or omitted, such as in the case of cement kilns or metallurgy. We also welcome the options for limit values for opposing rates developed by the expert group. However, the options for limits for pops rates set in technical guidelines still lead to recycling of vast amounts of pops. The most recent study conducted in Kenya revealed the highest ever measured level of dioxide like PCBs in the free range chicken eggs race close to market risky rates. Low pops content levels for dioxin like PCBs is still missing in the guidelines. Another global study estimated that we use the control over approximately 7.5 uh, kilo TEQ of polyperinated dioxins and insurance in ways such as incineration dry ash every year. This amount of dioxins is equal to the tolerable intake for the entire populations of 133 planet Earths. We are losing control over the most toxic chemicals that the Stockholm Convention aims to eliminate. This is a direct consequence of very weak flow of content levels, defended by few countries protecting economic interests. Another consequence of this weakness is the free movement of folks in ways across borders because there are no other regulatory barriers than the low post content levels. 21 authors looked at data available about contamination of chicken eggs by dioxins in the review study. Almost 90% of survey areas around the world were not safe for production of free range eggs, which remain an important part of locally grown food at many places worldwide. A new study is based on an analysis of consumer products from 26 countries and indicates the potential of significant human exposures, especially for young children, to PVDEs and related harmful chemicals in toys including brominated dioxins. This calls for strict limit value for PVDs. This should be established at the level of 50 milligrams per kilogram as proposed by the upper country. All these studies are polite baked-up calls. Decisions to set low box content levels are often political ones, driven only by the criteria of cost minimization for industry. This approach undermines the objective of the Stockholm Convention, which is not about avoiding costs for treatment of waste, but is to protect human health and the environment for pops. The less visible costs of lost health and environmental values must be the priority criteria when setting the limits for pops and waste. Potential costs of health damage are many of falls higher than those for treatment of pops rates. It is time to remember the words of indigenous people. When the last tree is cut, the last fish is caught, and the last river is polluted, when the bleak air is sickening, we will realize too late that wealth is not in bank accounts and let me count the money. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.